Well, we didn't get a chance to uh, catch up with Julian Bannock last week at uh, San Diego. Uh, man, highs and lows, Julian. We got to uh, let's talk about both, man. That must have been pretty fun. The final C practice, seeing your name at the top. Yeah, no, it was definitely cool. I mean, I qualified 20th fastest overall, so I was happy about that. And you know, I felt good all day, and I was hitting my marks and getting the rhythms down pretty good. My corner speed was there, and. You know, I put it all together and made it happen, so made the night show. Nice, yeah, now the progression, obviously, that's what this this discipline of, you know, Supercross is all about, the progression. Do you feel like you're heading, you look more comfortable on the bike, and the, and the you can see the aggression there now. Do you feel like you're getting more comfortable? Yeah, definitely. Like, I've had a lot of time on the bike lately, like these past few weeks, so I've been getting pretty comfortable. And, uh, yeah, you know, I feel good on the bike and strong and making our way up there. Nice. Now, when you knew, I mean, obviously, I got that picture of your dad not showing any emotion with the old 501 on the pit board. Yeah. It's pretty funny. But now you knew you were number one in that, but did you know where you were overall when you're out there? No. I mean, they don't show the overall timing. They show the live timing, so whatever I'm at. But we were checking lap times, as, like, compared to overall, and I did a 54-3 or something like that, and it put me, I think, what was it after the first, my second qualifier, all the... Times I don't know, top 20. <laughs> so, you know, it was looking good, and then everyone else did theirs and had the 28th, so it's pretty good. Nice for sure, man. Yeah, obviously, a step in the right direction. Now, let's talk about the rest of the night because it interesting there in your heat. You had that uh, the red flag come out, and you had the staggered start. I mean, everything was a bit uh, interesting. Then we had the uh, then we had the uh, the crazy get off in the rhythm section. To, uh, take us through the rest of the night. Yeah, um, yeah, heat race was gnarly. There's so many dudes trying to get around you in the first lap. It's so intense and like even trying to hit like the super crash triple and the big double is scary because everyone's like crash jumping you so you got to be careful with that but um you know it was my first heat race so i wasn't expecting a whole lot but uh you know it was a good night and then lcq i kind of got a bad start and was trying to make my way up but it wasn't going to happen and then i went two three and i seeded into the first three really hard and my hand came off the bar and i just started like raising above the bike dude and it was gnarly i thought i was going down really hard but i landed on the bike again and then jumped off the next jump and landed off the side of the track and you know, i didn't get that hurt so pretty lucky with that and what was the conversation with the medics i know they were right there and you're kind of like no i'm getting back on my bike i'm gonna ride over here yeah, what's yeah. up what were they saying they're like oh we're gonna bring the gator we're gonna bring the gator i was like no man i'm good like i'll just <laughs> get up and ride off dude i'm good don't bring the gator <laughs> yeah. All right, so then you went over. I mean, I got the photo. Well, I got the photo sequence of you flying through the air. Yeah. And then you went over and you waited for the checkered flag. You, you didn't quit, man. You rolled the flag. Yeah. And then uh, how, how were you feeling after that? Like, what did you do? Obviously, you went back and that was it for you. Yeah, I was pretty sore, dude. Like, I folded myself up when I landed. So, like, my knees were hurting. My back was hurting. My shoulders, you know, everything. So, I just, I just wanted to relax after that, dude. I just laid down. Didn't watch any of the mains or anything. Just laid oh. down all night and it's just being sore. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, taking the positives out of it, you qualified well. You're in a heat race, like you said. That was good. Uh, this week we're working. We're sitting here at uh, Lake Elsinore right now. You had a good, uh, good day on the bike today. Yeah. Uh, does that help your confidence heading in? Like, what are you hoping for now, A2, before uh, this little bit of the Western swing ends? Um, you know, just make another night show, and because it's a, tri it's a triple crown, only the top 18 make it, and then there's the LCQ race. But uh, I mean, I'm not expecting to make it into the main night show, but I'm sure I could if I got a good start and, you know, I held my own lines and stuff. But, um, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I felt good today and uh, I showed some good speed and did some drills and, you know, I think I'm ready for it too. All right, man. Well, hey, good luck. Yeah, like I say, it's a triple crown this weekend, so that is uh, certainly a tough one. you got to make it in uh, in the top 18 to get in the whole thing, so that's going to be tough. But uh, also, just quickly before I let you go, there's talk you're going to hit uh, maybe Daytona on the big bike too, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking about it for sure. I mean, racing Supercross is sick. And, um, you know, 450 East would be a good learning experience. And, you know, Daytona, last year I broke my leg, so it would be kind of cool, cool to go conquer Daytona again. All right, well, hey, we just went for a nice bike ride. That was fun. Uh, jumped in with uh, John Short, jumped in with us. So that was cool. Always good yeah, to yeah, meet fun. someone else on the ride. So, uh, hey, man, well, uh, yeah, good luck this weekend. We'll see you there. We've only got a couple, well, one more day probably of riding, huh, before the weekend. Yeah, I'm going to take a few days off now. Just get ready for the weekend. Relax. All right, man, hey, we'll see you at A2. Good luck. Cool, thank you.